So Liam, a 1-0 win today against Grimsby, a crucial three points for the rest of the season, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, as we say. Coming off the back of Saturday's result, we wanted to come, come home and, and have a really positive game, and uh, I think we've done that. I think the, the first ten minutes was a bit sticky, we, but we dug in and we, we showed what we're about, and obviously another 1-0 win at home going into the second part of the season. It's going to be massive for us, so yeah, we're delighted. And I suppose the first home game, really, since Gloucester, where quite a few of the first teams got to play. Obviously, you had your suspension, you had COVID as well. How good is it coming back into the side today in front of the first time we've had home fans for over a month? Yeah, it's great. Every time we play here, it's great. Obviously, I had my red card in the last game and the last time I played here, so I've been gutted and I've just been working on to get back in because, as you say, to play in front of the crowd here, it's, it's what we all want to do and they really get behind us. And as I say, if we can keep grinding out those 1-0 wins and putting performances for them, I'm sure they're... They're delighted with how it's going and hopefully to say we can put some big performance in because we've got a lot of home games coming up the second half of the season. So yeah, with them behind us, I'm sure we'll get to where we want to be. Phil made a point of highlighting how crucial you've been since coming back, since you've read card and you've had COVID in the way and the attitude you've had into training and obviously Saturday against Yeovil, slotting back in, well, into a completely new position for you. What was it like adapting in that scenario? Um, Obviously, we, we've worked on a few bits over the last few days. Saturday was a bit of a, a chucked in blind and it worked. So, yeah, we've worked on a few bits with the guy for the last few days. And I think going forward, it's what I'm used to. It's virtually left wing, so you get the ball at your feet, you cross, especially for the strikers we've got now in the building with, with, the, with the five lads that we've got. They want to get in the box and score goals. So if I can provide crosses and, and, and give them opportunities, I'm sure with the lads we've got, we'll take them. So, yeah, it, it's, it gets me on the pitch, which is the main thing. I just want to play. So... If I can help the team while I'm on there, I'm sure the gaffer will be happy and then I'm delighted to be playing. Now I alluded to the break, but the extended break really that you had, obviously we did have the, the COVID outbreak within the club as well documented and, and the suspension as well. How difficult that was that for you, sitting on the sidelines, not being able to participate for so long? Yeah, it's difficult. I've had a bit of a stop-start season really since i come in. I've had some good patches and, and some tights where I've been at the team, so to, to come at the team with something that I thought I was unfortunate for, maybe a challenge I didn't need to make at the time, but in the heat of the moment you, you try and do your best and... I've been gutted since, so I've just been working, as I said, I think the gaffer, you said the gaffer mentioned, I've been working hard in training just to get myself back involved and I think I can bring something to the team, so I'm hoping now, if I can just kick on at the end of the season, get a, a bit of a consistent run in the team, hopefully I can help us get to where we want to be. Now, Ollie mentioned it before, there was, there was a lot of squad depth, Phil mentioned it, you sort of mentioned it there, especially in the striking department, there's someone, again, let's say you continue at left wing back or even on the wing and you've got the, those sorts of strikers in the middle, that must be really exciting for you, seeing the players that can potentially be getting on the end of those crosses from you. Yeah, definitely. I think all season that when you look at our squad, we've, we've always thought we've got a really good quality squad that can, that can go to us. And then when you're bringing in the likes of, of Big Ollie as well, you, it's just great to be a part of. And as I say, I think everyone's got that one goal of, of us trying to get at this league. So I'm sure everyone in the team's got the, the same thought. I've got there playing at like different positions today. I just want to be out on the pitch doing what I can to, to help the team. So hopefully, I'd say we're all in that same mindset of, of wanting to get promotion. Hopefully we can get there. You mentioned before the amount of home games that we've got coming in towards the end of the season of the second half's really just kick started now. How important is that having a lot of home games there where the fans can be right behind the team? Yeah, it's got to be massive for us. I think coming here, obviously, I know a lot of teams step up their game, I think, and we're going to have to get used to that. But I think the games that we have played here, they've all been really tight. And if we start coming out the other side of them now, let's say with these, with these rugged 1 0 wins, I think we can really start kicking on in the last sort of 20, 22, 21 games of the season. More than half of them at home, it's going to be massive for us. I think upward crowds of 8,000 again today, it, 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 it's unbelievable, really. And they're always behind us, driving us on. So I'm sure for the rest of the season, they'll be here in, in good numbers. And hopefully, it helps us that 12 and a half plus.